Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Sichamba Jeko. I guess you are doing fine wherever you're watching this video from. Uh, please remember to subscribe, share the video, like, and leave a comment. All right, so in the, this video, I'd like to show you on how you can find the derivative of this function using a first principle, okay? So if... Uh, if I ask you to find the derivative of this, you just say, okay, the derivative of this is just, uh, it will be 4x, it will be 4x. This is a derivative of this, okay? To differentiate this, we just say the power which is right here multiplied by the number that is in front. So 2 times 2, that's a 4. And to the power here, you subtract a 1. That's what we do. So the answer is 4x. Now, what if you are asked to use first principle. How are you going to find the derivative? The first thing must be to find or to write the formula. Okay, so the formula looks like this. F of x, okay, is equal to prime there to show that it's a derivative is equal to limit as h approaches zero, okay? And then here we say f x plus h, okay, minus f over x. So this is the formula over h. So this is a formula that you must keep into consideration, okay? So upon identifying the formula, the next thing must be to identify what is it that we're supposed to put where f is. What is it that we are supposed to put right here? So where f is, we move back to the given function. The number that is in front, the coefficient, is what we are going to put where f is. And this power will come right here because it's a power. So all this thing right here will be x. Where x is, is where we're going to put all this thing. And f of x will just be what we've been given. Because this is f of x. Meaning, we will just copy the given function. So let me just try to substitute and see how it will look like. So we're going to have f of x prime is equal to limit as h approaches 0. Okay, hopefully you're following. And here, we said we're going to put a 2. We substitute a 2. Hopefully you've seen. We just substitute a 2 where f is, and this is a 2. And copy what we have here, x plus h, okay? Now, this power 2 will come right here, minus 2x power 2, and over h. So, this 2x power 2 will be where f of x is, Okay? So now, once you reach this stage, you substitute, you now try to uh, get rid of uh, the h, which is right here. We get rid of uh, this h. So we say equal to limit as h approaches 0. This you copy, and then you now simplify here. So we shall have a 2, x power 2 plus 2 h x plus h power 2 then you close you say minus 2 x power 2 everything over h like that okay so maybe your question may be how have i done this because of this power 2 you just multiply what is inside here by itself and you get what we have here the next thing here is just to say equal to you now distribute this two. We shall have a limit as a h approaches zero. Okay, you just copy what is here. We shall have two x power two plus four h x plus two h power two minus two x power two over h. So if you can see, I've just multiplied this by everything that is inside the brackets. Now from this stage, if you can see nicely, this and this will cancel. 
okay because here it's negative and this is positive so they will cancel we shall remain with the limit as h approaches zero okay we have four h x plus two h power two over h okay so now from this stage we can now factorize we say equal to so if you can see h is found here and here so it can be factored out we say limit mm -hmm. as h approaches zero okay we've got uh, h outside we shall remain with four x plus two h and the h down here okay so we just factor out h. h h is right here and it's also here so the h down here will cancel with the h on top and we will we'll remain with the limit as uh, h approaches zero of four x plus two h so now with uh with limits we're going to substitute this zero now we put it right here so we shall have uh, 4x okay plus a zero because when we put a zero here or we substitute a zero we just get a zero and our answer will just be a 4x all right so if you saw when starting we said the derivative of this is 4x so using first principle these are the steps that you need to perform and why are we doing all these steps it's because we want to cancel this h which is a denominator because when we substitute h here the denominator will be a zero and uh, mathematically it's wrong we can't have a zero as a denominator so we need to do all these steps such that we come and cancel here and remain uh, without h as a de denominator here and after that that's when we substitute a zero thank you so much for watching this has been sichamba jacob Remember to subscribe if you have not yet subscribed. If you have done so, thank you so much. And also put up a comment for me. Bye-bye.